Okay, let's start here. This is our movie that we made before that showed the shimmering effect of the clouds here that kind of shimmered at a different rate than the actual text. And it's kind of hard to see, but you can see down here that that is also, the ground is shimmering. So what we did today was we worked on this kind of shimmer effect where we're actually getting yellow 45 degree angle trails coming down. And we call that cloud trails. Then we also worked on, we, and we got that because yesterday we'd worked with cloud trails from here. here. Here we're doing cloud trails driven by our voice. And if we change it to the shimmer tone, then well, we exaggerated it because our voice was so soft. But so that was our solution to getting these cloud trails to um, show up. We also explored quite a bit of visual effects here, all of these visual effects. And we saw noise blur and transparency both turned out to be real useful. Noise blur is giving us what we're calling granular rain effect. And we still have to do some further work on it because we don't want it poking up above and to the left of the cloud. We only want it poking down and to the right of the cloud, very similar to what's happening here. So that's basically the bulk of what we worked on today was getting these visualizations. We did some other stuff. Our theme for today has been full media expression. And what we meant by that is words, sounds, images, ideas, feelings, sensations, intuitions, inspirations, getting it all to work together. And we kind of summarize that over here. What are the realms of expression? What are the realms of media that help us with that expression? Uh, and we started this whole series composing in pentatonic parallel with the idea of using two scales together and the idea of a shadow. And the shadow is that which we cannot see that we know is there. And we feel that we're approaching completion in this series and we're kind of starting to wrap it up and review what got done and how might we present it. And so we edited our text document that had the uh, sonnet in it over here. And this is the sonnet in what we call the open mic version with reader cues. This part is supposed to be said brightly, calmly, with surprise, drowsily, echoingly, precisely, and so forth. And we read that through a couple times today. Um, we extemporized reading it. We read it standalone, and we read it while this movie was playing that we just showed you here. In solo spotlight, we revolve. It urges us, again, attend, like that. We looked at the work we've done so far. We had did quite a few animations in this series. We walked through all of them. This was one of them that was pretty dramatic. We worked on uh, the, we reviewed how we did a very detailed line diagram here with lots and lots of uh, new elements added from experiences of line diagrams before and how that led to a more detailed uh, energy chart, which shows the seven parts of the shadow sonnet in terms of musical energy. We also, and it's also a visualization while we're at it. Um, and the shadow scales table, which was kind of where the, our idea for using two scales came together and helped us generate the grayscale series and the yellow scale series, or the shadow and the bright. 
then as we already reviewed we got some cloud trails working and we found some ways to do granular so in this series we have continued and expanded working with ideas words sounds images and how they iterate against each other to express ourselves in full media expression and we've begun to expand that full media expression to include our own voice probably through open mic reading at the moment so the idea is next time somewhere around do a voiceover open mic that can accompany the sat the sonnet to accompany the animation over here and and part of how we could do that is we in the last stream we had worked up these spectrum and waveform options and right now they're hooked to the mic and you can see that they're being animated by our voice uh, so we also need to do some more work on the granular rain as discussed so that's where we're at this has been a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel part 29 full media expression thank you for your time and attention Thank you to a lunch dump. Shout out to you for popping in and commenting. And we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And as always, keep on streaming.